I thought that um, it, it's been a crazy market just in the last couple of weeks. I mean, mm-hmm. we've been on the buy and the sell side. We've been entertaining multiple offers on the buy side. A lot of competition. Yeah. I mean, it's just really nuts. And, and I think it's still spotty, so it's not across the entire market. But if you are thinking about buying a home, and if you're thinking about selling a home, you need to listen up for a minute because um, – we talked earlier with Doug and Mike, and you guys can chime in, of course, if you want to. I mean, the importance of knowing what your borrowing power is, right? So that is the pre-qual or the pre-approval, guys? Well, it starts as a pre-qual, which is really just a verbal representation from, from the buyer in, in, on the phone right. uh, or face-to-face. But you know, the key thing about the next step, which is pre-approval, is the benefit is we don't we want to find out what they qualify for and really what they're comfortable making a payment. That's the key to this right, thing. It's not about us telling them what they qualify for. It's about them what, explaining what, their what they're comfort comfortable levels. paying exactly. For. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 that comfort level, you know, is not a a hard number, right? So they see a house, they love the house. Oh my God, I have to have this house, honey. And they're going to call Alfonso and they'll say, Alfonso, what's the house worth? So you're going to do some comps. You're right. going to find out what the market range, range. is. Range is so the key word. They've talked to Madri or somebody at USA Mortgage, and they found out what their borrowing power is. Now they're going to apply that to an actual listing that's available. Mm-hmm. If that listing is in you know, the central quarter, let's say a mile or two north or south of Highway 40, and it's priced right, mm-hmm. um, how, many, how many offers are they going to get in the first weekend? Three to five. Three to Six. Five. Yeah, I mean, it's that's pretty typical. Yeah, so um, buyers need to know, first of all, what they can borrow. That's USA Mortgage. Then they need to know what that house is worth. So mm-hmm. you're going to do some sort of competitive analysis, a competitive market analysis right. to help them. And how do you do that as far as just finding out, uh, like, do you come up with an actual number? Like, this is how much you have to pay? No, it's, it's a range, and I'll keep it really quick because we can go on forever about how we come up with our, our comps. And but we always run out of time. We do. So I just... We try to find, not I, we as, as buyer agents, buyer specialists, try to find like homes in the like area, right. similar area, and neighborhoods are important, and school districts are really important, and also homes in that same price range. So it, those things all come together to make a and, real good range of Right. Price. So so houses listed, let's say, for $325,000, and we're going we're gonna to advise our buyer uh, and and we're going to advise our seller that that probably is going to sell for three hundred twenty thousand dollars, right. right? And so if a buyer comes in and says, "Oh, you know, I love that house, and I would like to buy that for two ninety, is that going to work? That's not going to happen. Not not in this market. Not today. But it's we still have people talking like that occasionally. They, oh, they do. They're, they're sure like, they well, do. why do you want? Because that's what I want to pay. That's yeah. what I feel like this. And you know, all we can do is advise them that you know the the house value is set by the market can we change the market we cannot we can only work in the market and on the buy side my job is to get as much money as possible for i'm i'm I'm, I'm sorry on the sell side to get as much money as possible for the seller right and on my side for the buyer my my goal is to get it as cheap as possible save them money get the lowest price possible but either way it's within a certain range it's going to fall in that range no matter what and today is that range, in your opinion, is it bigger than normal or smaller than normal? I mean, the house comes out well priced. That range is well. I, I, you know, here's the thing: the the range can expand because of all of the competition. So we might set a range of, let's say, we give them ten thousand dollars. We were talking about three twenty five, and we'll say, look, the house should be bought between three fifteen and three twenty five. Lo and behold, you got five offers, and it sells for three thirty five. And so if if a house you know if if the the market says it's worth about 325 and a buyer decides that you know he loves that for whatever reason it fits him perfectly mm-hmm. right it's got the yard it's got the the space it's got the bedrooms a finished bath and a pool and a butler right and and he pays 330 or if he pays a few thousand dollars over asking price is that mm-hmm. a bad thing not necessarily no it it's you know the the market again we're talking about ranges and so if they pay over the asking price and over the range we've given them, um, there is a chance that the appraisal – we've talked about appraisal writer right. earlier in the show. There's a chance that the appraisal writer or the appraisal on the property could come back short on what so, they've offered. So, Mike, if you – and Doug, if you want to chime in too, I mean, you guys are – you probably see more uh, contracts for sale than we do because USA Mortgage got 70 loan officers all over the St. Louis area, and you guys are seeing probably contracts from all those – are you seeing a lot of contracts come in that are at or over asking price? 
uh, certainly at, uh, and I have had uh, a number uh, in a, in my office. I have seen a number recently that were slightly over five to ten thousand dollar over asking right, price. Right. Right. So I want to um, I want to bring up a, a something that we use in Gerard Realty Group because we tend to be a little bit more assertive. I guess we tend to be a little more aggressive in protecting our customers, our clients' interests, and that is what we call the escalation clause. Mm-hmm. Um, so in a, just in a nutshell, Alfonso, what does the escalation clause do in a competitive environment? Or what is the escalation clause, I guess is the question. Okay, so the escalation clause is a process that we use to try to beat anybody else making an offer on the property when we know we're in competition without getting our client to spend more than they have to. So right. instead of guessing and saying, okay, we're going to go 15000 over asking, and they say, fine, we'll take it, and they overspent by ten, we create a clause that – escalates their offer based on what the next best offer is. Uh-huh. And we can set by how much we're going to beat it, a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks, five thousand dollars. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get at Gerard Realty Group, we're, we're trying to get an unfair advantage for our clients that they're going to be the victor in this bidding war, but we're going to protect them from something crazy where Mike and Doug are then going to say, oh, well, you know, you paid too much for this house. Right. It's not going to work. Sorry, you can't have the money because right. that would be bad. But if our client really digs the property, mm-hmm. right, and on the sell side, if I'm representing a seller and we price it today, actually our strategy is to price it where we think it's actually going to sell to generate multiple offers. Sure. Because it's good for everybody, mm-hmm. right? So um, if the house is worth three fifty dollars uh, in the range and you say, hey, we'll pay you up to three fifty five. dollars We'll pay a thousand dollars over the next best verified offer with a cap at three fifty. With a cap to keep it protected, sure. and then and then of course if they are most likely their agent isn't going to do something that aggressive or right. that assertive or doesn't mm-hmm. even know to do it. So if you are not a Gerard Realty Group client, don't tell your agent how to do this. Yeah, don't give them our secrets. Yeah, don't That's give them our, our secrets. Um, so, and again, we're going to come back to that still the value is a soft number. There's mm-hmm. no hard formula that says it's worth exactly these number of dollars. And USA Mortgage, you guys are still going to get an appraisal and you're going to Absolutely. be protected. Yeah. And it's so important for your clients at that stage to have their approval. To, if they've already right. been through underwriting and we verified all the documents and you can take that because that's not what most people have at that beginning process. And that makes your offer even stronger right. going because in. Because if you, um, you know, if you need some groceries and you go to Schnucks or Deerberg's to be, or Straub's, <laughs> if you don't take your wallet, you're not going home with your groceries. That's right. If you go to look at a house to buy a house and you don't take your USA mortgage pre-approval, you're not going to buy the house. I mean, you, you need to have that in your back pocket so you know what your borrowing power is. You know what your costs are going to be. You know what your rates are. And if you want the house... And you want to protect yourself from losing it because of a five hundred dollars or thousand dollars, which in the big picture is not three hundred fifty thousand negligible. Bucks. What's a right. thousand? Uh, we will help you get that property, and yes. you will be happy. 